she came out suddenly from the Raj Bhavan main building and she was crying then and she complained in the police police kiosk that uh, governor tried to molest her from Jagdeep Dhankar uh, the uh, predecessor of the uh, CB Anand Bose the governor and uh, government state government relation was bitter the tussle between governor and state government continued after CB Anand Bose came here and uh, it's basically one or two months. There were a honeymoon period. Yes, yeah, there uh, was honeymoon. Chief Minister there. went there in Saraswati Puja. Mm-hmm. So I talked with many Kolkata police officials, top officials. Uh, they said that mm, we cannot lodge an FIR against any governor or president of India. So we lodged just file. Uh, when she filed a complaint, we accepted that co- uh, complaint, but we cannot lodge the FIR for the 361. Hello and welcome to the Indian Express. The historic Raj Bhavan of Kolkata finds itself in the middle of a murky controversy. The governor of West Bengal, C.V. Ananda Bose, has been accused of sex- sexually harassing a contractual female worker of, Raj- of the Raj Bhavan. Um, I have with me Otri, who has reported on the story. Otri, if you could tell me what exactly happened. Uh, basically, la- last evening, one uh, lady who is working in Raj Bhavan as a contractual staff suddenly came out from the Raj Bhavan, uh, from uh, the peace room, uh, governor is uh, going. So, uh, she came out suddenly from the Raj Bhavan main building and she was crying then and she complained in the police police kiosk that uh, governor uh, tried to molest her and uh, previously also uh, he attempted uh, to molest her basically so uh, she complained to the kiosk then police uh, accompany her with the lady constable to Air Street police station and she lodged their complaint against governor his, his excellency CB Arantukos. So that is the main incident basically. And uh, immediately after th- this came uh, for came came out in the media um, and yet late yesterday night uh, C- uh, Mr. Bose, uh, Governor Bose actually uh, tweeted about it and he said that uh, you know this is of course he denied all the allegations right yeah uh, basically governor uh, said that uh, uh, this is nothing but uh, uh, a political uh, party tried to malign him and uh, he said that if anybody wants some election benefits by maligning me then god bless them and uh, I will not uh, stop my fight against corruption and violence uh, of Bengal. So, uh, uh, he basically meant that the ruling TMC uh, is uh, doctored the old situation and uh, drove against him basically. So, he he is saying that uh, TMC or insinuated that TMC has manipulated Ah, the ah. whole case. Manish, uh, he hinted basically. Okay, he hinted that. And TMC also after uh, basically the, after the lady complained in the history police station, soon after the, her complaint, TMC uh, circulated her video uh, and uh, the complaint later and they uh, started accused the governor and also they politically uh, turned it that the Prime Minister is coming there and will stay in the night in the Raj Bhavan. So basically Prime Minister is indulging uh, the governor uh, against whom a molestation charge was there. So all political uh, propaganda TMC started within one year, uh, one hour of the incident. So uh, naturally the so governor also uh, hinted that this is these all the uh, this is basically a political agenda of teams. So uh, to give context to our viewers, 
<clears throat> what kind of relationship does uh, uh, CV Ananda Bose uh, share with uh, the ruling West Bengal uh, government? Yeah, basically not only CV uh, Ananda Bose, you can remember from Jagdeep Dhankar, uh, the uh, predecessor of the uh, CV Ananda Bose, the governor and uh, government, state government relation was bitter. Uh, but C.V. Ananda Bose, uh, uh, when C.V. Ananda Bose came, main, uh, mainly uh, governor and uh, Raj Bhavan and state government tussle uh, on, uh, started on the VC appointment, vice chancellor appointment on different state universities. And that went to Supreme Court as well. Uh, and uh, even after Supreme Court ordered that governor can uh, appoint the uh, uh, mean, meanwhile uh, interim. interim VC and permanent VC, all that governor, uh, government, state government was not ready to accept uh, which uh, 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 to whom governor is going to appoint. So, uh, the tussle between governor and state government continued uh, after CV Aranda was came here and uh, it's basically one or two months there were a honeymoon period yes yeah there uh, was honeymoon chief minister period. went there in saraswati puja mm -hmm. he, he uh, did hate kori in bengali mm -hmm. uh, from chief minister uh, that is one two months but after that the tussles begins uh, and uh, governor uh, went everywhere when uh, any violence reported, any riot, rioting uh, like situation reported in Howrah, Rishra, uh, in Howrah, Shippur, uh, governor went there, uh, talked to the normal uh, common people. Uh, when Sandesh Khali incident also reported, the allegation, uh, the women of Sandesh Khali alleged against Sheikh Shahjan and other team's leaders, governor also went to Sandesh Khali and personally he talked to the uh, uh, women who were alleged against TMC leaders. So that also embarrassed government. So tassel is going on and going on last uh, one or two years. The government enjoys some certain kind of immunity, which is according to Article 361. So how will this case proceed now? Is uh, what what kind of steps will the Kolkata police take? As far I know, the Kolkata police officials, I talked with many Kolkata police officials, top officials. Uh, they said that we cannot lodge an FIR against any governor or president of India. So we lodged, just filed, uh, when she filed a complaint, we accepted that co uh, complaint, but we cannot lodge the FIR for the 361. Uh, and we are taking legal advice. So what can we do? Uh, we, uh, they may go to the court, they may uh, go to President of India and I think TMC will uh, uh, go to President of India against oh. Governor uh, and uh, file the whole, uh, to President of India file the whole complaint and other uh, situation because previously also one uh, dancer also uh, filed a complaint in the Lal Bajar. Uh, Kolkata police that governor tried to molest him one year before. So, so what was the details of the case? Uh, uh, one, oh, uh, I think one dancer, professional dancer, ODC dancer, uh, she basically alleged that governor uh, um, offered her to make a uh, interim PC in a university and uh, called him her to his chamber and tried to molest her and he compl she complained in Kolkata police, uh, um, Lal Bajar, Kolkata police headquarter uh, against governor. Uh, and uh, as, as as we speak, uh, to, uh, you know, Trinamool Congress has, the uh, uh, women's wing of Trinamool Congress has taken out a demonstration in the streets of Kolkata. Um, how have other pol political parties, namely, uh, you know, uh, CPM and other parties reacted to this? Uh, basically, they are basically uh, not uh, 
vocal they are not very so they been aggressively not came yeah. out yeah. and uh, gave the action on this matter uh, and uh, but tmc even even mamta banerji also uh, today in the rally uh, criticized yeah. governor and mane uh, she mane she said basically she was molested twice and i have seen videos of her crying before plotting something like sandesh kali look at yourself first so basically tmc right from mamta banerji rank and file all tmc leaders is trying to uh, giving uh, this incident to suppress the other embarrassment of tmc like sandesh kali and other uh, women harassment uh, women allegation against tmc leaders so uh, op- opposition are not reacting very sharply right now even i i, I uh, heard the pm speech mm. there's there was no mention he oh. he also uttered a single word on this incident so i think they are they are basically going slow and slow and watch uh, wait and watch uh, and uh, 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 having said this like uh, even as we speak uh, there are other cases like this of uh, especially in the south uh, happening so uh, do you think this will give any kind of political mileage to trinamool at this point of time it is very hard to say right now but uh, we can only say tmc is uh, trying to take this dividend mm. from this incident gain as much as it can uh, basically tmc uh, tmc is in series of embarrassment during this lok sabha election first uh, first uh, high court uh, cancelled all the uh, 25000 teachers Jesus. job and cancel the whole panel and accused government uh, when government went to supreme court to quash this uh, order supreme court even did not stay the order uh, supreme court indirectly appealed the high court order that that was the first embarrassment for tmc second embar- embarrassment was you know uh, last couple of days their leader kunal ghosh is uh, attacking uh, his mane uh, party leadership and uh, tmc was forced to uh, remove him from general secretary post and spokesperson post uh, he also removed uh, from the star campaign and list name also so the series of embarrassment uh, going uh, was uh, against the tmc basically the series of incident came against tmc embarrassed tmc so this is the one incident what tmc can uh, use positively tmc is trying to use this positively so that the other incident uh, can be suppressed in the election campaign and the scenario of the election process basically